Wow, I just helped that guy get unstuck. Like you see the little dents in the ground. Like you see where that little orange thing is. He couldn't really make it around. So his wheels was up in the air. So we couldn't figure out how to get his wheels moving because it wasn't no traction. So this could be a good trick. And I definitely have to take one with me when your wheels don't have traction there's a couple things you can do you can either like it's different on every truck and i did it in my storyline you can either set you can lock your rear drives by you know find it out where it's at no i'm sorry that's air suspension like i said it's different on every truck this is the inner axle one right here so you lock your rear drive that's what that does and when I say rear drives for people that need to see stuff, these are your drives. That's your front drives. So of course it's your front drives because it's the front. Of course these are your rear drives because obviously it's in the rear. So when you turn that inner axle lock on, what it does is it locks up these set of axles to where this is the main one that's spinning. So what happened with that guy was the front of his tire was totally it was maybe about two three inches off the ground to where it was just spinning so we tried to put some things under it it still wouldn't catch so what we had to end up doing was yep there you go get yourself some plywood some four by four because you never know when your rear axles will lose traction and you just need something for your wheel to catch on and that's something a lot of times need to be as big as some plywood or some four by four so he let me get in his truck and help him pull off so i got because he had a stick shift so i got in there and i said hey man just put the, the block underneath the front drive while i try to go forward so while I was going forward in the third gear, he banging on it and banging on it until the wheel, until that wheel finally jumped up on the block and it pulled him out and he got out. Because if it wasn't for that, he was going to have to call a wrecker and it just would have been embarrassment and everything else. So let's recap. If you get somewhere, because it can happen anywhere. It can happen if you get on uneven terrain. It can happen if you get in mud it could just happen mainly mud snow uneven terrain sand uh muddy dirt like really like just soft dirt it can happen so if it happened to where you're just spinning 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 have some plywood in your storage or try to turn on your interlock so that it can lock your rear it can lock your rear axles and hopefully the front wheels can pull you out but most of the time, you're going to need some plywood for you to roll up on to pull you out. I definitely thought I'd share that. I would have recorded the guy, but that would have been rude. A lot of times, when people get into crunches, the first thing people would do is pull out a phone and record somebody to make a fool of them. Well, why not get out and help? Like, instead of me pulling my phone out to have a video showing how he got stuck and how he, I guess, was feeling bad or looking stupid, I got out and helped. That's what that's what a driver with integrity and the help mind of spirit would do. Instead of trying to talk about somebody and make them feel further worse, because every truck driver that had a moment to where they did something stupid and it's just a learning lesson. So instead of putting somebody down when they already going through something, get out and help the damn driver. You never know that can be your dumb self to where you might need the help. Because I didn't need the help many a days that I didn't got in the crunches. So, make sure you find some plywood somewhere. I got this plywood from this pile. You see that pile right there? Yep. And the same one we used to get him out, it's the same one I'm about to put in my compartment. So, hey, carry some damn plywood with you or some 4 by 4 because you don't never know you might need it. So, time to the essence. I'm making better time of it. Waiting for them to finish my load and everything. Oh. And also, too, um, I mean, a lot of stuff I make is common sense, but just in case you forgot, I just remind you. I sprayed my knee so freaking bad. I don't know if I'm bleeding. I was trying to help him. I ran into the metal thing. 
my damn knee hurt bad. But the same way, the same way you agree your fifth wheel, like you check your fifth wheel from time to time to make sure like ain't no rust spots. But this part really don't matter because this is not making contact with the trail and the shank. This whole top part is the one you worry about. You want to make sure there's no metal to metal or rust spots. So before I go and hook up to my trailer, I'm about to re-grease my fifth wheel. And a lot of times to make it easier to pull on, in and out your electrical connectors. Like this is your electrical connector right here. Like this has seven prongs. Prongs are the holes that you see, seven prong connector. And on people that don't have lift gates on the back of their trailer or they don't touch freight, you ain't got to worry about this because this is um, this is a four prong electrical connector. And on trailers that have on trailers that have lift gates, that that one charges the lift gate. So people that just have an average reefer trailer, drive van trailer or a trailer that don't have a lift gate, y'all ain't gonna have that line. Y'all just gonna have that electrical connector that just supplied your brake lights and lights on a trailer, that's it. So, like I said, the grease I normally use to lube up my fifth wheel and everything. Let me see, it's on my other side. But you can get it from Walmart. It's called all-purpose grease, it's like red grease. You can even get it from truck stars. You can get them in little packs or you can get them in a tub and it's red grease and you can just grease around or even like you know around the connector so when you pull it in and out you're not struggling trying to yank yank because a lot of times when ain't no grease that sucker barely wants to come out so all right guys time's the essence i'm making bad time of it helping people as usual so all right y'all deuces